Hey, uh, Jimmy, what a great outfit that is. You got. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you the truth, I have. Yes, tell me. Because I went through my closet. So these, these red, reddish corduroys, mm -hmm. I have two pairs of the same. So, so every time I wear these cores and then the next day I go, did I wear the red ones or the tan ones? I get mixed up and sometimes I wear red two days in a row. And I feel like telling everybody, but these are the, the two different ones. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have them yesterday. I, By the way, I was dressed exactly like this when yeah. I came into work this morning. I mean like yeah. literally really? exactly like this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. I, as I told you the other night, yes. I saw you at a Christmas yes, party. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I, I, I never know what to wear. And right. I was trying to get dressed. And I said, you think Adam's going to be at this party? And my <laughs> wife said, yeah, I think he'll be there. And I said, oh, good, I don't have to dress. And she goes, no, just because yeah. he dresses like that doesn't mean you're allowed to. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> I feel terrible. I wish I could dress better. I, I have the clothes. I had a nice lady, and my wife went out and got me a bunch of stuff. It just to get it just a little too small. <laughs> and I'm in such a bad mood when it's tight, and I don't want to have to fight to get. I that see clothes. what you're saying. You know yeah. what I mean? I yeah. like it loose, and you got to cover things. <laughs> By the way, I, and I mean this sincerely, I'm not just whatever. You're absolutely yes. great in this movie, and it's a great movie on top of that. Hey. And I know yeah, the audience has not seen it. it, it but what I'm curious about yes, tell is me. do you get at all <laughs> offended by all the people telling you how great you are in this movie? They're like, no, really, you're amazing in this movie. <laughs> Does it annoy you at all? Uh, no, 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 it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> okay. I get it. I understand. It's a different style of movie, and yeah. I, my comedies are light and fun, and I love, I love doing them. Uh -huh. And I get a different kind of compliment to those. I always, you know, I hear, man, I was so stoned the other night <laughs> when I saw your movie. You know, well, that's fine. But uh, this is a different style of movie, and it's the Safdie brothers. And this is uh, not a movie you want to be stoned watching, probably. <laughs> I heard of uh, somebody actually at that very same party told uh -huh. me they saw it. Uh, and lost their mind. They kind of stared at it and were scared. It's very intense. The movie yeah, is very yeah, intense. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the uh, Safdie brothers are these guys, yes. brothers. Yes, two smart Queens boys who uh -huh. are uh, 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 just unbelievable. Did guys. you know them before you worked with them on this? They apparently wanted to do this movie with, with me a long time ago. They wrote it like 10 years ago and I think I was busy uh, 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 and, and they, they sent the script in to like, you know, you have an agent and managers and stuff like that and they, they didn't, uh, I don't even know if they read it. I don't know what happened. But, right. But like 10 years goes by and, and I did the, the Meyerwitz stories and I'm going over to Cannes and when I'm going over there, uh, my agents kept saying, the uh, Safdie brothers want to talk to you. And I said, what are the, who are the Safdie brothers? And they were like, they're young and hip. And I thought they were just like skateboarders. <laughs> so I was like, well, what do I want to meet the Safdie brothers for? <laughs> and, uh, and then I saw Good Time, you know, the uh -huh. movie Good Time and all their other movies, and these guys are incredible. And then I said, oh, my God, yeah, yeah, let me meet those guys. And they gave me the script, and it's, it was excellent. They're young guys. Like, when I they know. sent that script to you, they must have been, like, 14 years old or something. <laughs> no, the first time, yeah, it yeah. It makes sense that you would not be interested in doing a movie with them at that time. I guess. I mean, they're just, just, they love you, by the way. And, they, and Benny met you the other night. And yet, no party. one called me to be in the movie. <laughs> I, I got no calls. You're so busy. Yeah, that's the thing about the movie that I, and I love when occasionally a director will do this. Right. He pop, they populated the movie with a lot of people who aren't actors. Right, right, right. Yeah, there's, it's about New, it's New York City, and there's a, there's some. My character gets into trouble with some tough guys, and they get real tough people to be. In. They're not actors. Mo most of the cast is is not actors. There's some great actors in it, but a lot of the scenes I did with guys who are just it was their first time doing it, and they were you know supposed to smack me around and stuff. And the stunt coordinator would say, you know, you don't have to actually hit at him. <laughs> he, you know, throw the punch at him or throw his head to the side. It'll look like and they just stared at him like, what the hell are you talking about? We're, we're going to hit at him. We have to hit at him. It says hit at him in the script. <laughs> and they did hit at him. They hit him, yeah. Yeah, they shouldn't be hitting at him. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you look different in the movie too. Yes. I mean, you look like you, but it's like there's they, something they, odd about the way yes. you're. Well, they put I uh, have different teeth in there, uh -huh. and I have a goatee and a fake mole, and the, the hair's back, and I'm wearing different clothes. And you have earrings in the movie. I have earrings. <laughs> yes, I have two earrings. They're uh, magnet earrings. So, oh, uh, so it's they not weren't... real. Yeah. But when I was young, I did. Uh, my I hope my kids. I've been lying to them. 
I, 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 but I did have a, an earring, a uh, left earring when I was younger. And uh, I did the movie Airheads when I was a kid, uh -huh. uh, when I was young. And, and, uh, and um, in, the, in the script, it said I had an earring. So I said, ah, maybe I'll just get an earring. And so I don't have to change, every, like get a fake earring every day. Let me just do it that, pierce my ear, blah, 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 blah. I didn't think it was a big deal. So, so I pier pierced my ear, and then I remember calling home. And my mother answers the phone, hello? And I was like, hey, Ma, it's Adam. What happened? I was like, nothing. Something's wrong. I said, no, nothing's wrong. <laughs> uh, I just want to tell you, I got a, I got a, you got a what? <laughs> I got a, uh, I got a, in the left, in the left, in the left ear. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't. I did, I got an earring. Oh! <laughs> You can't be buried with us. I go. <laughs> isn't that a isn't that a tattoo? <laughs> is, that, is that the rule how it yeah. goes? In her head. In her head. <laughs> yeah. You also gain weight to play Howard is the name of the uh, character. Howard. Yes, yes. In fact, I saw your wife had a uh, necklace yes, yes. that said Howard on it. My what? They as a A twenty four gave my wife. Uh, that's who did the uh, uh, the movie with Netflix, and they and they. Um, they gave my, uh, me a gift. It says a diamond uh, Howard necklace, and my wife wears it everywhere, and it dangles right above her beautiful uh, cleavage. You always mm -hmm. see Howard. I'm, I, I should be jealous, but somehow <laughs> I, it thrills me. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm, I keep going, who is this Howard? It's like, uh, but w w yeah, you could get her a Billy, and you could get her a Happy, and all yes, your, you know, I know. a Sandy, all your different movies, right. you know? Yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. Sand Quite a good, yes, holiday Sand collection. Yes. One Night of Hanukkah, each <laughs> night is a, a different, different character that you play. That's good, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, also, yes. when we're talking about these, these actors who yeah. are not actors, yeah. one of them is Kevin Garnett, the yes. basketball player. Yes. Who you never know what you're going to get when a basketball player is in a movie or any athlete. You know? Unbelievably cool, great guy. Super intense. Focus, unbelievable in the movie. Like, every actor in the movie was going, are you kidding me? <laughs> Kevin Garnett's better than me at acting. And <laughs> he was so cool and so smooth and, and just in the scene. Every, every scene he was in, we would just look at He was very him. good in it, yeah. 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 So anyway, we asked you if you could maybe bring Kevin Garnett, and, and sure enough, you brought Kevin Garnett. I got Garnett. it done for you. All right, so yes. let's take a break. We come back. We're going to see a clip from Uncut Gems, and we will visit with Adam Sandler yeah. and Kevin Garnett. We'll be hey, right back. Hey. I see you out there when the stadium's all booing you. You're 30 up. You're still going full tilt. Let's see what Vegas, what has Vegas got you guys at today? Take a look. Let's see. Are you, are you serious? You're going to pull this up right here? Look at this. The Sixers are supposed to win the game tonight, they think. We don't keep track of none of that. Who they gives think a game seven. You're not going to get 18 points. That's Adam Sandler and Kevin Garnett. Uh, and let's bring him out now. He's a not only is he an NBA champion, he is a thespian now. Welcome yes. Kevin Garnett, Kevin everyone. Jim. No, right here, Kevin. Come on. Come on, KG. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing well. You know, I just thought of something. I wonder if Kevin James is upset that you, there's a new Kevin in your life. You know, I mean, this is, I imagine the two of you, like, going on from here and, like, yes. doing a lot of movies together. We're going to work only together. You had great chemistry together, really. And, uh, Kevin, I was knocked out by your performance in the movie. Who knew that was in you? I can never tell when you're joking. I'm not joking. <laughs> No, I am not joking. Like you sincere, but I am I kinda, being sincere. I kinda, oh yeah. No, no, there's no, there's no left hook coming. Uh, it's, <laughs> I mean that quite sincerely, and I'm sure you've heard that from a lot of people. Do you hear from your former teammates? Yeah, yeah. You do, yeah. Yeah, but they don't know anything about acting or. <laughs> I just what? figured it being supportive. So, <laughs> some of them have been in some really great movies. Some of them. <laughs> <laughs> I play myself though. I yeah, play myself, yeah. You know? yeah, but that's not easy. People think it's easy to play yourself. Can you can you really mess up playing yourself? I've seen it happen. Uh, yes, for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think uh, you absolutely. I'm glad can. I didn't talk to you before I did this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Did you ever find yourself in a situation like that with a jeweler? Adam's character is this jeweler who provides jewelry to athletes and other yeah. like kind of wealthy people. Absolutely. Yeah. I've uh, shout out to Jacob the jeweler, shout out to Tito. Uh -huh. All those guys. <laughs> those are the are. guys. Yes. I actually reach for that. I, you know, I've been in a situation where I have a bunch of my friends with me and we're in a jewelry store getting jewelry. And, yeah, I do yeah. that with my friends all the yeah, time. I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm in a jewelry store, I'm hiding in the bathroom, hoping right. no one wants to these buy days, anything. Yeah, these days, these Did you guys, now I know Adam loves to play basketball, did you guys play any basketball together? Uh, yeah. no. no! Listen, we have long days when we shot, believe yeah. it or not, but it's a basket on the set, so when we would get done with these long days, yeah. or in between takes and stuff, we would go out, shoot around, mess around. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, nice. it, was, it was a dream of mine to maybe, after work, show up at a park with Ed Play oh. two on two and say, call my friend Kevin to play with me. But uh, it, it would have been amazing. If you would have said that, I probably would have showed up. He's but so imagine hungry. if you got hurt or somehow bad. No, I would have felt. not <laughs> not at the park. That would have been real clumsy of me to get hurt. Would have been park. incredible. Oh. Let's, let's do it after Jim. You oh, should need to do it. Of course, it would be funny. Let's do it. I'm with it. Let's have do it. you Thank guys you. been reading the reviews of the movie? No. You have not. Have you, Adam? I don't uh, read. I have people read it to me. You have people. Nah. <laughs> No, 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 no. I don't want to know. I, I, don't, I hear it's good. No, let's just <laughs> stick with that, man. Uh, What's the Lord. best one you heard about? No, no, honestly, all I hear is, I know you don't like reviews. Uh-huh. But, and then I just get, it's all right. It's all right. I don't yeah. need to hear. They're like, you want to hear one word? And then I go, <laughs> no, no, what, what? And then it's like, I think it's two words, not awful. Or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Kevin, is this something you want to continue to do? I can't say that it's something that I was looking, you know, and reaching out for different opportunities, but, you know, I'm a man of opportunity. If something comes along that fits, like the synergy in this... You know, oh, I, I think it would be a fun play. movie for you, and not that I'm pitching here, but uh, it'd be a fun movie where they don't adjust for your height. So... <laughs> that's like this building. Yeah. It's like this building. I've yeah. been coming in here. I've been this is a this dangerous street. building for tall man, guys. I gotta yeah. pay attention in yeah. here. I can't have conversation in walk. No, no, you know, yeah. you gotta, that's you right. Know? Tim Duncan is still unconscious in the, <laughs> the, the alley. I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> it, some great well, it seems like you guys that. had fun. Yeah, and did, did you notice that Adam had to put on weight for the film? No, no, no I didn't have to. Oh, you just did? This <laughs> 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 kind of happened. <laughs> no, I didn't notice. I didn't no, notice. No, I swear to God, I did this one scene with, uh, where I'm supposed to be yelling, it's like a monologue, mm -hmm. and I'm supposed to, in the script, it says, I, I step on the scale and I keep going, and I said this entire monologue, it was going well, I step on the scale. I haven't stepped on the scale in like four years. So I step on the scale in the middle of the scene, I look down, it says 203, and I, I was looking to see like 189. So I saw the 203 and I was like, and I forgot the rest of the scene. And I was, like, <laughs> I was <sh> <laughs> So you're really, your guys. head's really in the character yeah, when you're I, right. I was, I was until that moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys did a great job together. I hope you do another movie together. He does all his movies on vacation, you know, it's oh, really... Yes, <laughs> come with me anywhere, oh, Bora, Bora Bora, right? Bora Bora. Let's We're shoot there, buddy. Let's do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. First I'm you pick the setting, then you figure out the movie. The movie, that's secondary, Kevin man. Garnett, Adam Sandler, everybody. I, Uncut I, Gems I, is in select theaters now. It opens wide on Christmas Day. We'll be right back with Karen Gillan. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season. Buy my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and drew it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. And if you don't support that, you are a monster.